She would love me down to the ends of the earth. She would show me my work. She would make me feel right. Not sure if it's Hey guys, it's Josh. Welcome back to another video. Short little intro before you guys actually watch this. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and you have all notifications turned on. This is actually my first video of the many that I'll be posting this month and the next month after that. I'm going to be posting every two to three days, so make sure to stay up to date with that. But today I'm going to be showing you how you can edit the best highlights video in Adobe Premiere Pro. But like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to want to go up to file. We're going to go to new and then we're going to go to project right here. We're actually going to name this whatever. So I'm just going to name it Premiere Premiere Pro tutorial and I don't have the best English so bear with me on that so this is the basic setup I have right here all we're going to do is we're just going to find wherever we have our clip saved to so for me I'm just gonna go down to a random folder right here and I'm just going to drag in maybe like three of these into our media pool sorry I don't know what I'm what that pop-up was but you know it's all good we're gonna go over here to the music section wherever we have our music download if you guys don't know I'll have a little mini tutorial of an unlisted link in the description if you guys want to find out how to download music and uh, all we're going to be doing is I'm just going to drag in some sort of song so for me I'm going to use the song I don't even know we're gonna do ends of the earth if I have that in here Okay, Ends of the Earth by 637 Godwin. That's the song we're going to be using. I've used it in so many tutorials. You guys have probably already known it by heart. But okay, whatever. So we're going to actually skip to where we have our main beat drop. Right here. Oh. So right here we can see this is the main beat drop. We're actually going to press M on our keyboard to actually add a marker to this point. We're going to find the clap after that. Press M again. And then we're going to find our second beat drop. Just right here. Clap again. And then just like that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna press B on our keyboard to actually access our blade. And then we're gonna press V, delete this portion right here. And then go to the back to the very beginning, right over here. And we're just going to drag it over so it's at the very beginning, just like this. And just like that, you know, we have everything we could ever need for a highlights video. So just like that, what we've done is we've actually marked out the beat drops, transition points, beat drop, transition, beat drop, transition. I always sync up my transitions on the claps. That's what I mean by transitions. All we got to do, go to sequence settings. We're actually going to make sure that our frame rate is set to 60, sorry. And it wouldn't be the end of the world if we already synced up a clip before doing that because we can just change it just like that. Um, all we're gonna do is it says this is a meme clip. So I'm actually gonna go find a different clip instead of that one because um, we don't wanna be using a meme clip in a tutorial. I don't know what Traxfer decided to do that. Traxfer, if you're watching this video, you're an idiot. Okay, so all we gotta do now is we're going to go over here. We're gonna drag a new clip in. I don't even know what this is, but uh, Traxfer is some of the best clips I've ever seen, so I'm not gonna doubt it. Like, just full on edit course. Wow, that is embarrassing. Whoever that was, it should probably uninstall the game. We're gonna double click on this clip. We're gonna mark this in, and we're gonna go after the kill, mark it out from there. What we're gonna do is we're going to find the kill right here, wherever we can see the pellets actually line up with the player's head. We're gonna add a marker there and uh, line it up with the marker we already have placed down in the song. Just like that, you know, that's all the uh, syncing we need to do. All we got to do from there, make sure to check out the presets I'll have in the description. All we're going to do is just go to the velocity that I have. Go one, two, three frames back. We're actually going to cut it right there. And then you can drag on either the clean impact to velocity or what you can do is just add on the highlights velocity. This one is a lot better because what it will do is it'll add an impact and velocity. And in one step, you've already added an impact and velocity to your clip. It's that simple. All we got to do from there, repeat the exact same process with our second clip, just like this. Wow, that is embarrassing. Whoever he did that to should also probably uninstall the game. So we're going to drag this in. We're going to find the part right here at a marker. We're actually going to slide our way along here, sync this up just like this, drag this out on this side, drag this out on this side, just like this. We can see that I actually am not very smart, so I didn't line it up properly. So we're actually going to correct that. I don't know why it's not wanting to work. That's good enough, actually, who cares? And we're going to actually go three frames back. One, two, three, cut this. And this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna add on just the velocity. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to select both of them, right click, nest it. Then we're going to go back to the kill, split it, depending on which one we want to use. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the screen pump clean impact, which is 23 frames back, as it says in the title. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 23 frames back split it at that point and then we're going to drag on the 23 frames back preset just like that and it's that simple just like that we have actually added our second impact and it's that simple ladies and gentlemen that simple can't get more simple than that all we got to do we're just going to find this one too wow this is embarrassing like i said uninstall we're gonna mark in and out drag it over top find the kill just like this Boom. I don't know why my phone's going off. I got a lot of ladies hitting my line. We're going to line this up right here. Zoom out. Trim this. Boom. Boom. One, two, three frames back. Split it. And then we're going to add on the clean impact to velocity. Wow. Super, super duper clean. All we got to do, you know, let's say you want to add a build up to one of these clips. So prime example, this one right here, our main opener. We're actually going to nest it by selecting both of them. And then we're going to find one of these build ups. So um, this is actually the first frame that happens. So we're actually going to go from here. So we're going to do opacity fade build up. We're going to split it at this point. Then we're going to add opacity fade build up onto the one before it. And that'll actually automatically do it itself. If we let's say we want to do it to this third clip nested boom just like this we want to add i don't know a red god build up frame before we actually see the effect so this is the effect one frame before it we're actually going to split it on that right here add red god build up not a big fan of that one but up to you guys i'm gonna leave it without a build up all we got to do now um, I'll have a link to the transition, whatever you want to call it, um, in the description, if you want to check that out. All we're going to do is you're going to go find it. So for me, I have it in a folder called, uh, I think it's Premiere Pro, it's not Premiere Pro presets, it's Premiere Pro Projects. And it's this transform.pr projects that'll be in the description. You're going to drag it into your media pool. And then you're going to do right here, uh, import entire project, press OK, let it load. What it will actually do is it'll do a not responding thing. You give it a second and then it will pop up with a little message. Three, two, one, three, two, one. You get the idea. Offline all. And then what it will do is it'll make this little bin in your media pool. All we got to do from there is go into it transform for me i normally do zoom or perspective so i'm going to go zoom first we're going to go down to um, hit short and then hit short in what you're going to do is you're just going to press v on your keyboard get rid of these little red things you're going to want to keep the pink ones though because that's the actual transition itself this is the transitions by the way i should, probably should have explained that before i even showed you how to do it and then we're going to line up the second box with the actual split point and just like that that's the actual um transition right there uh if you want to do hit out it's the exact same thing we're gonna go back and then we can go maybe perspective and then you can do like a hit in short perspective hit in short just like this we're gonna delete the red things keep the pink ones slide this on over and we're actually going to sync it up with this part right here and uh, that should be good it's like the transitions you see in almost every single highlight video, but from there, all you gotta do, if you wanted to end it, you could just do apply default transitions, it'll fade out. And then if I wanted to also do that with the audio, I could just press this right here, apply default transitions, that'll actually fade it out. And then if I wanted to do uh, fade in the intro, apply default transitions, apply default transitions, just like this. And then um, lastly, there's not really much to do other than add your ident. You know, I'll have a couple designers down below if you guys want to pick up an ident for yourself. But this is my brand new ident. I don't know why it's not wanting to do this, but we'll just drag it into the media pool right here. Give it a second. And then just like that, we'll drag it in. And look at that, man. Super high quality ident by Skeeter. Shout out to Skeeter. Thank you for making that, buddy. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you can actually make your very own thing. All that you want to do, it's it's kind of optional if you want. You can add your own um, 
color correction so uh, i'll have a preset down below in the description if you want to check that out what i'm going to do is i'm just going to apply it to this one right here we're actually going to go to effect controls and we're going to go to edit look i'll have a tutorial how to import the magic bullet looks that i'll have down below in the description if you guys want to actually figure that out for yourself um and i have different ones i made this excel color correction if you guys want to check that out and um let me quickly find josh constant main is the best one tutorial cc's excel um just go check those out in the description if you guys want to actually do that yourself and um i got all these other ones my highlight cc is my main one though it just adds a nice overall vibe to it and i normally what i do is i set it to like 60 percent and then what i'll do is i'll right click it go to cut and then i'll select all these and paste it on that way it'll go along the entire thing and they don't stack on top of each other um, but yeah, that's pretty much that you can add sound effects if you want to I'm not gonna do it because the sound effects are loud enough in the actual clips that I have actually used Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial though uh, like comment subscribe any questions you guys have We'll leave them down below in the comments. Um, I can't speak English leave them down below in the comments I'll be reading all of them. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the new style tutorials and uh, yeah See you guys with my uh, next upload this week. See you later